Okay, the first 15 things I set on a new Fujifilm camera. In no particular order. Number one, pairing registration. I basically had to put this one at number one because Fujifilm forces you to connect right away. But this is actually a good thing, as not only will you be able to connect the camera with your phone to transfer photos or even control the camera with your phone, this will allow you to upgrade the camera's firmware to the latest version. Start by downloading the Fujifilm app and follow the instructions both on the screen and your phone. Once your camera is connected, follow the prompts to update the firmware. Done, connected, and refreshed. Two, in the IQ menu, image quality set to fine and raw. The camera is set to shoot only JPEGs by default, but this is crazy. Three, go to the wrench, sound settings, AF beep volume set to off. I prefer to be completely silent when I shoot, but if you'd like some sound and don't want to be completely obnoxious, you know what? Oh, God. Jesus Christ, that's... And you know what, big boy, you're grown up! You can set your volume to one. Next, I make sure the electronic shutter volume is also set to off because it's default to make some weird artificial shutter sound, and it ruins the best thing about shooting in electronic shutter mode, photographing like a ninja. Number four, AFMF menu. I changed the number of focus points to the maximum, like 117 to 425 on the X-T3, for example. Five, I'll hold down the display back button to customize the camera's function buttons. For the D-pad, up is my white balance, right is my focus mode, down for my Bluetooth on and off, left for my film simulations. I'll assign my AEL button to be my autofocus on, since I'm a crazy back button focuser. Is that a word? The AFL button is my face detection on off toggle switch. This will allow me to turn face detection on or off if I wanna quickly have a focus point. My front function button is my custom setting selection, which I can use to quickly change to my saved looks or custom settings. My top function button is my right-handed playback button. If the Fujifilm camera has touchscreen buttons, I usually don't set these, but sometimes I try left swipe for playback, right for a histogram, down to give me a level, but I change these around from time to time, depending on my mood. Six, wrench, button dial settings, shutter, AF set to on, continuous to off. Since I'm a back button focuser, I actually used to turn off all the shutter autofocus. This means that I would autofocus with the back button. However, when I'm handing the camera to my wife or kids to shoot, Using the shutter to autofocus is actually more intuitive. So what I do is I keep the autofocus activated with single focus mode. Now, I mostly live in manual focus mode. That's the little M on front of the camera because autofocus is always available with the back button. Cool, right? Seven, I'll change my autofocus mode to all. This allows you to change from single to zone to wide mode just by increasing the size of your focus point. Very convenient. Eight, shutter change from mechanical to mechanical plus electronic. I do this because the mechanical shutter only goes to one over 8,000. And if you're shooting at very wide open apertures like 1.2, if it's really sunny out, the camera will just not be able to expose correctly. But the electronic shutter can go over to one over a million shutter or something like that. And so you can shoot at 1.2 in full sun by engaging the electronic shutter. Nine, wrench, button dial settings, shoot without a lens, set to on. By default, the Fujifilm camera will not recognize any non-Fujifilm lenses. So you have to set this to on if you have a Viltrox or a Rokinon or any third-party lenses. 10, create my custom looks for my JPEGs. I like to set all my looks right away and save them. 11, AFMF menu, my AF plus MF is set to on. This allows me to autofocus by half pressing the shutter. Then while still half holding the shutter, I can turn my lens focus wheel and the image will automatically punch in to check critical focus. This is perfect for a flower's stamen. 12, AF MF menu, AF point display set to on. With this setting on, you will always see an overlay of what focus mode you're in. So you'll always have a little gray box hovering. It doesn't bother me.
13. Movie mode, set to 4K 24 frames a second. 14. Also in movie settings, I'll go to the tally light settings and put front on and rear off. This will let me know when I'm recording because you'll have a tally light that's on. 15. Wrench. Power management. Performance. I'll set this from normal to boost mode because boost mode. All right, guys, check the comments below because people will have their own settings that they'll set on a camera right away. Let us know your settings so that we all know what the heck we're doing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Happy shooting, guys. Oh, 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 oh,